I'm Taya Gurkin with Peghead Nation, and I'm here with a Taylor 714 CE. The 714 CE, um, of course, has been in Taylor's lineup for many, many years. Uh, it's one of the more popular uh, grand auditorium size instruments. But the 700 series, uh, in particular, has seen a lot of changes over the years. And this, of course, is the latest uh, version of this guitar. It has the V-class bracing, has the uh, latest combination of woods and uh, inlays that are part of the 700 series. And um, I wanted to take a little closer look at this guitar. Now, it used to be, when the 700 series first came out, uh, way back in the 70s, I believe, um, it was kind of Taylor's way to have a slightly more stripped-down rosewood guitar. You could kind of say that uh, you bought a 700 series guitar. If you couldn't afford the 800, you went with the 700, because um, it offered a lot of the same performance in a slightly simplified package. And it's been great over the last few years to kind of see the 700 series come into its own, really kind of offering an alternative uh, to Taylor's other rosewood back and sides guitars uh, by having its own uh, kind of aesthetic appearance um, that doesn't quite so much emphasize being stripped down, but really kind of having its own look, um, and also offering some combinations of woods uh, that are not part of other uh, Rosewood Taylor guitars. So I already mentioned this guitar is a grand auditorium size guitar, which is Taylor's most popular body size, kind of a mid-sized body, uh, works well for a lot of different playing styles. Most people find it very comfortable to hold. Um, 700 guitars have typically been made with rosewood back and sides, and uh, that's the case for this guitar too. Uh, some beautiful Indian rosewood on this guitar, uh, slightly lighter colored uh, than some Indian rosewood might be. Very nice wood binding on this. That's something that hasn't always been a part of the 700s to have the uh, the Indian rose would be offset with wood binding rather than plastic binding. And what's particularly interesting about this current um, uh, incarnation of the 700 uh, series guitar is that they use what's called Lutz spruce for the tops. Uh, most 700s have used Sitka spruce tops. There was even a time when they used cedar tops. But Lutz spruce is really how these guitars are tonally distinguished from other uh, uh, rosewood back and side Taylor guitars, which tend to um, use Sitka spruce tops. Um, Lutz spruce is often compared to um, kind of combining the qualities of Adirondack spruce and Sitka spruce. Um, it's a bit stiffer than Sitka would typically be, which means that the guitar might hold up better to a little stronger playing. Uh, you heard me playing it uh, fairly aggressively with a flat pick and uh, in that guy tuning in the intro to this. And the guitar just really holds up very well for that. It uh, has a lot of headroom, a lot of dynamic headroom. And that's something that the Lutz Bruce is really good at. Um, it's also beautiful. You can see how tightly grained this, uh, this is. You can see some, uh, some little cross grain uh, in some of the lower bout areas here. Very nicely, evenly colored. Um, it's a beautiful top. And I'm sure that this will age particularly nicely as well um, over time. Um, the kind of overall wooden theme on the guitar is continued with the uh, purfling and the uh, rosette. And uh, what that is, it's kind of a herringbone pattern uh, made out of Douglas fir. And I think that it's really quite beautiful of how um, the color is offset. It's not a completely different color from the top, but just enough to really be nicely offset. And uh, it's kind of a different herringbone from the typical kind of black and white herringbone that we're more used to seeing. Um, it's uh, subtle, uh, but really quite beautiful, especially on a guitar that is kind of that kind of uh, thrives on the appearance of the materials and the woods, such as the case with this 714C. The um, Fingerboard and bridge are uh, made from uh, ebony, and this, of course, comes from Taylor's uh, ebony production in Cameroon. In this case, it's a very dark ebony, particularly on the bridge. It also has an ebony uh, peghead overlay up here. And the inlay in this guitar is what Taylor calls their reflections pattern. Uh, some earlier 700s use simple dots, so this is a, a bit of an upgrade in this current version. And you can also see that extended up here in the peghead as well. Uh, the guitar has uh, Taylor's chrome enclosed tuners up here on the peghead, uh, their standard set, and of course it includes the ES2 electronics with the controls up here in the upper bout and the pickup mounted behind the saddle in the bridge of the guitar. Okay, so let me show you what the guitar sounds like uh, using the ES2 electronics. I'm plugged into a Fishman Loudbox Mini Charge Amplifier here. Controls are basically flat. Uh, got a touch of reverb on there, and uh, I'm just going to show you what it sounds like.
Okay, so that's the guitar played through a Fishman amp. I'm always impressed with how well the ES2 uh, kind of conveys the individual character of the guitars that it's built into. And in this case, I think it definitely um, captures uh, the nuances of the dynamic range and the kind of warmth that the uh, rosewood of the guitar uh, kind of uh, possesses in terms of the overall character of the guitar. So really a great choice uh, for these instruments. Um, let me also show you uh, what the guitar sounds like played finger style. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to drop D tuning here and uh, just kind of show you what it sounds like uh, with a little softer attack on the right hand. So definitely a responsive enough guitar uh, to play some softer fingerstyle material on it. Um, the rosewood back and sides uh, really impart kind of a nice warm and uh, fat tonality uh, that I think works particularly well on this guitar. It's a lot of fun to play both uh, fingerstyle and with a pick. So really nice uh, new version of the 714 CE. Um, I mentioned it has the V-Class bracing, uh, which of course has two braces going from the both sides of the sound hole into to the uh, tail block area and it replaces the traditional X bracing and um, if the uh, sound of this guitar is any indication uh, it's a system that really works and uh, Taylor is now using on all the Grand Auditorium uh, size guitars and uh, it really sort of has enhanced uh, the existing Taylor voice in a new way. So that is the uh, 714CE. Uh, definitely check them out if you're in the market for a mid-sized Taylor guitar. It's a great uh, choice for Rosewood back and sides uh, Taylor model. And you can check them out at your local dealer. So uh, we hope that you do. And we also hope that you come back here to Peghead Nation to check out our gear demos. My name is Taya Gurkha.